Pope Francis and the great Imam of Al-Azhar signed last year the historic document on human fraternity for world peace and living together. The Holy See celebrated that document during a conference at the UN in Geneva. It is a very strong conviction of the Holy Father that we have a future in fraternity or we have not any future. The historic document on human fraternity signed by Pope Francis and the great Imam in the United Arab Emirates last year was an historic event which has impacted not only the Christian and Muslim communities worldwide. The Holy See delegation at the UN Geneva and the mission of Egypt to the UN in Geneva came together to celebrate and to promote the values of peace and tolerance highlighted in the document. Fraternity is not an option. No? Now we can ask us whether we have something similar already in the past. We have other values that are quite commonly accepted, let's say freedom. Everybody knows that freedom today is a really basic element of social life. Equality, it's not reached, but we are still striving to reach the equality, better equality, or let's say fraternity, which is a new element, more inclusive element, was somehow forgotten. And the vision of the Pope was to promote this, especially in the dialogue with the Muslim communities and everybody else, certainly. But Muslim communities are important, and there's the beginning of an important dialogue, which was always, always present. And uh, the occasions and circumstances uh, sh has shown that uh, uh, this meeting would be appropriate in this format. Now uh, it's going to be a follow-up. It is not just a meeting, there's going to be kind of declaration, a cosmetical retouch of something that existing. No, no, we could see that also in the meet, in the gathering we had uh, um, that problems are real and we have to have also now elaborate a plan of action, how to make first steps in this uh, way on moving toward a human, uh, global fraternity of human man mankind. I think this is very important and this is immediately understood by many as a potential of having a new resource for affronting and facing the problems that we are going to have, certainly in the future, especially in the world that is as dangerous as we have it today. The document was signed and supported by two prominent religious leaders. So what role does a non-religious organization such as the United Nations play in that context? Usually the religious organization, Catholic Church included, and especially probably Catholic Church, we prefer that all the religious dialogue that we lead, it means ecumenical dialogue, interreligious dialogue, happens within the relations between religious organizations, not in the frame of something else. So we, we are gathering, we meet because we believe, we believe in God and we believe that what we are doing is linked to our religious belief. This was always discussed, they said, why shouldn't be done in a framework or something else? It could put, uh, bring a new input to another organization. But we always divide it. It is a government that do, it means there are so many things done by the government. But what the Catholic Church does and the other religious organizations, we prefer to have it exclusively religious framework. This is very productive because uh, it can be somehow a new resource in the case new tensions start and so on. So this is one thing. Why in the United Nations? <laughs> on the other side, United Nations says, fantastic forum. So we cannot say, uh, let's keep that somewhere, you know? And uh, United Arab um, Emirates uh, permanent mission uh, to the United Nations Geneva wanted to launch this together with the embassy of uh, permanent mission of Egypt and some other organizers just to show it, you know, this is the real place to show what happened. And the interest was considerable. Certainly, it is important what I heard during the meeting, that what we heard from, uh, from the floor is that we do not speak just to elite. It means in this case would be that we do not speak just to religious elite, no? but to everybody, and certainly this is our intention. The intention is that everybody would understand that, and I think this is also why 
a meeting at the United Nations and an event that we had uh, today uh, was, is important and relevant for the future. I was happy to learn that both the United Arab Emirates and the Holy See have set up committees to identify concrete steps for the implementation of the hum Human Fraternity document. Their work will be essential to ensure the visibility of the document at a global and grassroots level so as to foster greater understanding and support for its content.